Hello everyone. In this series video, I would like to demonstrate you how you can solve the same problem using different methods. In this part, we will consider how to animate the belt by using IK spline. You need geometry that you will be using as a cage for the belt. Slice it along the length and convert edge to spline. Select spline and go to the character menu, convert it to the joints and put them below the spline. Unfold all joints in Object Manager and rename the first and last one. Select all joints and belt mesh. Be assured that you in model mode during this process. Go to the character menu and click on the gear around bind. Choose heat map and change joints value to 1. Now check the weight map and to do that open weight manager. Check every joint, your purpose is to bind each edge to specific joint. As you can see, the last edge has no binding. Click to the weight tag and change mode to points. Select the correct joint and select the points. In weight manager change command mode to absolute, click apply selected. Check the result. Now select the first joint and put IK spline tag on it. IK system demands a spline and we already got one. Index the last joint as an end on the IK spline. Now you can control joints by moving spline points. Let's reduce amount of spline points, leave just three of them. Open Handles menu, add three handles, click Create three times. Now we have Null that controls the spline. Let's keyframe nulls. But you may notice that IK doesn't use nulls rotation. To fix it, at IK spline tag change twist mode to the world. First note. IK spline better use with Bezier type, all other algorithms have errors with over-rotation of the joints in initial state. Change spline to Bezier and you will get rid of linear angle. Control tangents depth from IK spline menu. Change the IK spline type to the equal, to make geometry fit the spline. Put FOSTAX inside first and last nulls.
To make belt more smooth, you can put geometry into subdivision surface. Short reminder from previous video, how to use cages, and how to attach objects to the spline. Second note. Because we using simulation to attach objects to the belt, in this case we will notice that all dynamic in the scene have a lag, that happens because simulation and skin conflict between each other in priority. And to get proper result, you have two options, first is turn on simulate before generators, second is cache all scene dynamic and change all tags priority to minus values. Repeat the same that we did in previous video. And you will see that simulation always late for one frame. Sometimes it's enough to just turn on simulate before generators. For another option you have turn off simulate before generator. And cache whole simulation scene. Now you have to change priority of each dynamic tag and scene down to minus values. To get more interesting results, you can mix IK spline with cloth simulation. So we already have keyframed animation for IK spline. Let's go to animate influence of mix animation down to zero values. See what you will get. Now we have to bind it to your lead geometry by using cloth belt like we did in previous part. but sometimes result could be unpredictable. One way to fix this shaking is change simulation settings. In my case, I can just increase collision passes and damping. We finished with IK spline. And as a benefits, I consider that we have absolute control to adjust poses and motion, it's more appropriate for rigging systems, and if you use IK spline in fit mode you can save initial length of the geometry. But in the same time, we need to do waiting, and we have issues with priorities. See you in the next part where we will consider how to do the same animation by using loft and cluster. If you liked this video series, please don't forget to leave a comment below. Good luck!